Jam 2019 Physics Question number 11. Radio waves have a velocity of 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. A radio station sends out a broadcast on a frequency of 800 kilohertz. The wavelength of the broadcast is... This question we are expected to calculate the wavelength. We have a velocity to be frequency multiplied by wavelength. So our wavelength is going to be velocity over frequency. We have a velocity to be 3 times 0 to the power 8 meters per second and our frequency to be 800 kilohertz. So when we make our wavelength the subject of the formula, we're going to be having V all over F. That is velocity all over wavelength. It's going to give us 375 meters. So our wavelength is 375 meters and that corresponds to option C. We are looking at question number 13 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. Water shows abnormalous behavior at... Before we look at the options, let us quickly know by definition what anomalous behavior water means. This is a phenomenon whereby water expands instead of contracting when the temperature goes from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. So if we look at this option, the correct answer to this question would be option D, which is between 0 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius. We are looking at question 14 of the Jan 2019 physics exams. A uniform meter row QR is balanced on a knife edge, which is 55 meters from R. When a mass of 10 gram is hung at P, which is 10 cm away from Q as shown below, the mass of the meter row is, we have drawn our meter row diagram, and so we're going to be using the principle of moment to solve this problem. Let us assume that our mass is M. We're going to be having 5 times M is equal to 35 times 10, according to this diagram. So that's going to give us mass is equal to 35 times 10 all over 5. That will be 70 grams. So the mass of our meter row is 70 grams. You are looking at question 15 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. The vacuum of a thermal flux helps to reduce heat transfer by? The correct answer to this question is option B, which is convection and conduction. This is because the thermal flux has double walls, and the vacuum between the two walls helps to prevent heat transfer from the inside of the flux to the outside by convection and conduction. You're looking at question 16 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. Which of the following phenomena explain the formation of marriage? I reflection, II refraction, and III diffraction. Basically, marriage happens when the ground is very hot and the air is cold. So when light moves through the cold air and into the layer of hot air, it is refracted. And so II is one of the correct options. And also, marriage can be formed by the total internal reflection of light and layers of air of different densities. So, reflection is also implicated in the formation of marriage. So, the two correct options are reflection and refraction, which reflects in option C. You're looking at JAM 2019 physics question number 17. An object is placed 5.6 times 0 to the power minus 4 meters in front of a converging lens of focal length 1.0 times 10 to the power newton meter. The image formed is, first of all, let us look at uh, this. We generally know that the image of any object formed by a convex mirror is always virtual, erect, and diminished in size, and it is formed between the pole and the principal focus. So, the correct answer to this question is option B, which is the image is virtual, erect, and diminished. Question 18 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. A bar of initial length L subscript 0 is heated through a temperature change to a new length L. The linear expansivity of the bar is... Linear expansivity is usually... The increase in length minus the initial length all over initial length multiplied by change in temperature. And in this question, we are given our initial length to be L subscript 0. Our increase in length is L. Now, our temperature change is delta theta. So, our linear expansivity will simply be the increase in length minus initial length all over initial length multiplied by change in temperature. 
You are looking at question 19 of the Jan 2019 physics examination. A moving coil galvanometer of 300 ohms gives full scale deflection for 1.0 milliampere. The resistance error of the shunt that is required to convert the galvanometer into a 3.0 ampere ammeter is we have our RG, which is the resistance of the moving coil, to be 300 ohms. We have our IG, which is a full scale deflection of the ammeter, to be 1 milliampere, which will give us 10 raised to the power minus 3 ampere. And we have our maximum current to be measured to be 3 ampere. We're going to be using the formula resistance is equal to IG multiplied by ROG all over I minus IG. So when we substitute these values for this in the formula, we're going to be having 10 raised to the power minus 3 times 300 divided by 3 minus 10 raised to the power minus 3. That will give us 0 0.1 ohms. So the correct answer to this question is option B, which is 0 0.10 ohms. You're looking at question 20 of the JAM 2019 physics examination. Which of the following arrangements of the components of electromagnetic spectrum is in ascending order of wavelength? Electromagnetic radiation is classified into types according to the frequency of the wave. And in order of increasing frequency, option C is correct, which is gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet rays, and infrared rays.